Hi everyone, welcome to day 21st of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving two of the most asked Python data analyst interview questions. So let's see the question. So the question one says, how do you reverse a string in Python? So we have a string, which is this one. We need to reverse this string. So the string names hw. Okay, so we need to reverse this string. This is the question number one. So let's see the question number two. So the question two says, from the below list of string, write a functions to filter and display only the entries where the order status is completed. You are not allowed to use any user defined function now you can see here we have a list so in the list we have string so this is one string this is another string right all these are string you can see in the list we just need to filter those data where we have the status as completed right this one this one this one this one right so these are the data we need to filter out based on this object which is completed so let's solve this two question now if in case you want to solve the same two question i will be adding this two question in the video descriptions you just need to click the link and you can download this from my github so i'm going to use a simple slice functions here so as this is a string if i just show you the data see we have the data in this order i just need to reverse this right so i can simply use a slice functions here and in slice i can define it like two column first column takes the index of the starting of this Let's say I can define it zero, which is going to start from here, or I can define it from one that is going to start from the second. Okay. After this column, I can define it the ending of the index, which is going to be last index that I want, that the range I want. So if I just define it, let's say I want zero to five. Okay. Let me just show you. See, I am getting the data from zero to five. So zero is the first index. Okay. And the five is the this index. Okay. So that is fine. Now I will need one more column here and I will define a step. So you can define a step one. So if you define a step one, you get the same order, the result. Now I'm going to define the step minus one and uh, I'm going to define starting and ending with nothing. So that is how it's going to reverse the result. Okay. So step one. Now you can see we're getting this string, which is in reverse order. So which is called hello world. Now I can just save it and call hello world one and if I just want to reverse it again so I can simply go ahead and write the same functions again which is going to be nothing but uh, hw1 and uh, that's going to be two colon minus one which is the step okay so you can see we have just reversed it back to the original shape okay so this was the question number one now let's see the question number two now in the question number two we do have a list which is called orders in orders we have different different strings so this is one string this is another string so each strings is object in this list now if you want to see the data types you can simply write type and inside types you can just say orders so this is going to give us the type of this which is variable and this variable is list okay so i can simply go ahead and use a slice to show you the data right so i can say orders and uh, orders of orders of zero so if in case from this list i want to print the first string so that is going to be my first argument that's going to be my first object right so i can simply say orders of zero okay so that is going to print the first argument now you can see the result in, in string now if you want to just verify it i can simply use a type and inside this i can put you can see i'm getting the result in string okay now i'll need to filter based on this third object which is going to be 0 1 and second so basically in python is going to be the second object right based on this i will need to use a filter now this is a string so i have, i need to first convert this data into list so to convert i can use this delimiter which is called comma based on this comma i can convert this data in list so what i can do is that i can simply type dot split and based on comma so it's going to be converted into a list now you can see the data is now converted into a list so i can just save this in something called order and i can say equals and uh, from the order i can just print the order to you from this order if i just need this argument so i'm i can just use a slice and this is going to be zero one two so i can simply say two right so i am getting this result right which is nothing but completed so this is the logic i'm going to use in a functions called filter based on that we will solve this result now if i just go ahead and say this simply like something like this that's going to be like this okay and uh, i can say of two equals completed okay so i will be getting true or false if it is completed i get true if it is not completed i will get false right so based on this logic i can select this data from this list okay so i will use in this cell 
So I will use the functions called filter. Now you can see the filter text to argument. The first one is the functions and then second one is iterable. So iterable is nothing but we can use this list, right? So I can go ahead and say filter and uh, then I will need to give my functions here. I will give it later. Now here I will need to give my orders, okay? Which is nothing but the orders table. That's the iterable, which is the second object. Now I will use a lambda functions here. Now if you do not know lambda, I will make a video very soon. And I will also give some example after the video. Okay. So lambda and I'm going to say x dot x and uh, I would say dot this logic okay from here to here. Okay. So this is going to select the data. Okay. Now let me run this query. Now I just need to convert this into a list so I can just simply type cast it list. And inside it, I will just put these functions. And if I just print it, you can see I am getting all this four string from that list where the status is completed. So let me explain what is happening here. Okay. So using this lambda, I am simply using a lambda functions. And inside the lambda functions, I am putting this logic to select the where this third argument is completed. And based on that, I am filtering on the orders table. So I can simply save it call completed orders okay now i can simply print it call print completed orders now i can see i am getting all the orders as a string where the data is uh, where the entries have been completed okay so this is how i have solved this question now if you want to see how this lambda function works so lambda function is very simple one line functions which is something like this you can say lambda and you can say lambda a and uh, Let's say I can just define it x and I can say x into let's say 10. Okay, so that's it. Now, this is the lambda functions. Now, I can just save this functions in something called maybe functions one. Okay, and if I just need to call this functions, I will just use f1 and inside I will just need to give my this x value so I can just say x equals x function of x and I can define it maybe x equals 5 here okay so it's going to be 5 into 10 okay I can just run it and you will see the result okay it's f1 so the function name is f1 9 c so this x is the argument so we are creating a lambda functions which is one line functions so you say lambda and you can say argument which is x and you are just what the logic you want in return so the logic is that whatever the value we will give in x so we want that times uh, 10 right so i can just change it to 20 and uh, so the result will be accordingly okay you can also use instead of this x i can use like here 5 okay okay you can see i'm getting the same you can see i'm getting the same result so this x means inside this functions it takes one argument which is x so I'm just defining X as a five and we are getting five into 20, which is 100. Okay. So this is how the Lambda function works. Now Lambda can take two exam two argument as well. So we can define it something like this functions two, and I can simply say Lambda and I can say a comma B and I can just use a logic. Let's say I want something like a plus B. Okay. So this is, I want in return. So, Lambda will take two fun, uh, two arguments, so that's going to be a and b, and that's going to sum, and that's going to result return the result. So if you want the res result, you can say two into let's say five. Okay, so we are expecting what we're expecting seven, right? So you can see this is how the lambda function is working. So this a means one argument, this b means the second argument. Now you what logic you want in the result in return, right? So this is the logic. We want a times a plus b. If you want a minus b. You can define it this way a minus b so lambda is going to return the same which is minus 3 because from 2 we are minusing 5 so we are getting minus 3 so this is how the lambda function works so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care bye bye